Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my productive morning at home. I'll be doing some cleaning. Jeff will be doing a little bit of painting trim to get those finishing touches done to the house. And I'll also be making a yummy peach cobbler. Now this is a great motivational video to get you going on the mornings that you're just unmotivated. As you can see, I'm starting with making my bed. That's always the best place to start when you want to have a productive day. You guys are gonna think I'm a total crazy person for lint rolling my bed, but Champ jumped up on the bed this morning and his dog hair sticks to this duvet cover and I absolutely hate that. So I keep a lint roller on hand to make sure that I can roll all of the dog hair off if he happens to jump on here. So while I'm tidying up in the bedroom, Jeff is just doing the finishing touches on the trim work in the bedroom. He's just filling in the nail holes and painting those pieces of trim. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take care of my makeup and get that done before I go ahead and keep cleaning. When I do my makeup, it just makes me feel put together and organized. So I just wanted to get that done. So that way I just feel like I want to keep getting things done. Otherwise I just feel frumpy and I'm just not in the mood. All right, let's go and tackle the rocking chair, which is a never ending pile of clothes. As soon as I clean it all off, guaranteed later tonight, there'll be more clothes on there. And I can't even blame anybody else. Most of the time it is my stuff. That's my resting place when I'm just quickly getting undressed. So I need to make a point of not throwing things on that rocking chair. The rest of the bedroom is mostly clean. Jeff is still working in here on the trim. I'm gonna go get out of his way because he needs to pull the night tables out of the way and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna head downstairs and get started on the kitchen. So you guys, last night was a busy night and I didn't get a chance to get the kitchen cleaned up and all put away before bed. So that means I get to deal with it this morning. First things first, I'm gonna get all of the food put away back in the fridge, back in the cabinets, and get that island all cleaned up. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys woke up to a clean kitchen this morning or a messy kitchen this morning. I wanna know what the majority says. Kitchen island is clean and all wiped down, so I'm gonna head over to the dishwasher. I need to unload all of the clean dishes before I can go ahead and tackle all the dirty ones. And I just wanted to mention, you guys absolutely loved the video I put out last week. That was my dream house ultimate clean with me video. That video was a huge hit, so if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go and watch that video after you watch this one. And I did mention in that video how the house is now on the market, so I will try and keep you guys updated with how that is all going over here on my YouTube channel, but I do post more often over on my Instagram, so make sure you guys are following me over on my Instagram. All 
right, so the dishwasher is now unloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start loading the dishwasher again. It looks like I'm gonna have a lot of dishes to wash by hand, so I'm gonna have to take care of that too. day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I couldn't get him off my mind had a lot of utensils gather at the bottom of the sink so I'm just placing those into that red bowl with some hot water and some soap just to get all of the food crud off of the utensils before I go ahead and put them in the dishwasher. I used to forget about this all the time, but you have to wipe the side of your dishwasher on the inside because it gets really grimy. And I never really used to notice that. And then one day I noticed it was really gross. So I always try to make sure I wipe that now. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean my cast iron pan here. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love my cast iron pan. I've only used it about three or four times. I got it not that long ago and I just can't believe I went this many years without owning one of these. Now I know the key to having a good cast iron pan is caring for it properly. So I'm gonna show you what I do to take care of mine. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously clean all of the food off. So I've just put some hot water in the pan with some Dawn dish soap and I'm just letting it soak for a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my little Scrub Daddy scrub brush and I'm just going to wash the pan. So now that the pan is clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it aside over there to drip dry. I'm gonna come back to that pan in a minute and show you how I finish with the care for the pan. Here I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the soap dish because even that can get pretty grimy. So I just wanna make sure that I rinse off all of the um, grimy soap that is gathered up on there and I'm going to wipe all around the kitchen sink area and get that all tidied up too. Now if you have the marble look countertops, which means they are actually laminate and not real stone you want to make sure that you clean up any excess water so that it doesn't soak in under the sink because that can cause your countertops to swell so I'm always very careful just to make sure that there's not water all over the place because that is one thing that you have to do with laminate countertops as opposed to stone 
All right, so now that the cast iron pan is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and oil it. You need to do this every time you use your pan after you wash it and it's dried. You're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil in the pan and just wipe the whole thing down. Now this time I used olive oil. That's really not the best oil to use. You're gonna to wanna to use a vegetable oil or a canola oil. That's what I typically use, but I don't know why this time I thought it would be a great idea to do olive oil. It turned out totally fine by the way, it's just that I read up on it after and it recommended to use vegetable or canola oil. And if you skip doing this step after each use, your cast iron pan will rust. So you wanna make sure you spread that oil over the whole pan. Time to clean the stove, so I'm just gonna take the grills off, my candles and my salt and pepper shakers, and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the whole stove top down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it with paper towel. And I'm also spraying down the grills from the stove top and I'm using the Dawn dish soap spray which by the way is life-changing I don't know if I could ever go back to using regular dish soap and here I am using my Wyman stainless steel spray that is the best polish to polish your stainless steel products All right, so I'm just gonna replace the grills back on the kitchen stove, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe down the rest of the countertops. Alrighty, so the kitchen is nice and spick and span now, and I'm gonna go ahead and mess it right up again because I'm gonna go ahead and make a peach cobbler, which I promised the kids that I would make last night, but I was just too tired to do it, so I'm gonna make it today. So this peach cobbler recipe is super easy, and I got it from pinchofyum.com. So if you're looking for the recipe, that's where you can find it. But it's so easy that you're basically gonna get the gist of it from watching this video. So the first thing that I did here was I went ahead and I washed all of my peaches, and I went and just cut them into slices. You don't have to worry about your peaches being super ripe because I had a few that were not ripe at all and I was having a really hard time cutting them and slicing them and pitting the peach. So don't even worry about it because they cook and once you add the sugar in there, it is all good. So now that the peaches are basically all sliced up, I'm placing them into 
the glass baking dish. I believe it is nine by 13 baking dish and I just mixed it up with a quarter cup of sugar. All right, so the cobbler topping is super easy to make. You're just going to need a half a cup of melted salted butter, three quarters cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And then you're just going to want to make sure that it is combined really well so that way you don't have any chunks of flour or anything in there. And then that'll be it. That is your topping for the peach cobbler. And you're basically almost done. Now all you have to do is take that crumb topping and just sprinkle it all along the top of the peaches. So I just take the chunks and I just break them into little pieces and spread them evenly all on top of the peaches. And you guys, this is such an easy dish to make. So you can use it for a dessert. You can use it for like a nice Sunday brunch to have with some coffee or tea. It is such a nice, refreshing dish. That is for sure. My kids absolutely love this one. Okay, so that is gonna go ahead and bake in the oven for about half an hour. So you're just gonna wanna go ahead and check on it part way through, make sure that it's not burning or anything like that. And in the meantime, while that is happening, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that the kitchen is nice and clean because I don't wanna leave a mess since I already cleaned it once this morning. Okay, so all of the prep dishes are cleaned up and put away. The cobbler is pretty much ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven. Now, the recipe does say that you should let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes to get a nice, thick, and saucy consistency, but nobody in this house wants to wait, so we're just gonna go ahead and scoop it out onto our dishes. And I have a little bit of whipped cream there, so I'm gonna serve it with some whipped cream. All right guys, so that was my productive morning. I got my bed made, got my makeup done. Jeff did the touch-up painting there in the bedroom for the trim. I made the peach cobbler and I cleaned up the mess after the peach cobbler. And the kids are happy and their bellies are full. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.